It's fine. It's only 80%. We got this. Come on, Granny. <laughs> Madam Juror number six. Yes, dear. What can I do for you? <laughs> a set of mittens, please. <laughs> I'm gonna acquire a new scarf. How about some pants? You need pants? Is your dick cold? You need me to warm it? I need new pants. I mean, your dick warmer. How about that? Ew. More pants. Don't ever say that again, Sebastian. Oh my god. I need seven pairs of pants and wear them all at once. That's gonna scratch like shit. I I need to feel all the pants. Yeah, wool pants have really changed. Right. Yeah. I certainly have. Still got my hearing, you know. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, good to know. <laughs> and pray tell, why are you yet to pronounce your leading? What do you mean? He's such a nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. dear, the thing is, I'm a creature of habit, me. I always go to the park at around this time. I knew it. She loves the rich And sit on a nice bench and get on with my knitting. <laughs> still, still, still not impartial, but it's like, the okay. fuck is she going on about? <laughs> oh, okay, what does that have to do with this? <laughs> uh -huh. There's a lovely little park just near where I live. McGilded Park, it's called. Yep. Yeah. The gentleman donated it to the city, you know? To put a smile on Londoners' faces, he said. I can't imagine such a fine young gentleman would have had it him to take another man's life. But she doesn't say innocent either, so she's kind Lord of- Lord doing wonderful things for the city! She's always doing wonderful- Who's saying that? The I gallery. Just the the gallery. People in the audience. Yeah. 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 That's right, I'm gonna stop from- Mother, maybe we're gonna make a little part of the library! Stop! 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 <laughs> I'm shit myself. <laughs> How many Londoners live with their head in the clouds? Do you? I know? need pants. <laughs> Man, Magnus McGilded really is. Oh, enlighten me, please. What kind of a man is he? I want to be philanthropist. Him. Magnus McGilded. Genius Trumpster. Playboy billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Has enough wealth to purchase the entire city he claims to value so highly. But where did all that wealth come from? Your client is a Shylock, sir. And one with the very darkest of souls. Did you say Sherlock? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't say that here. You don't have the, you don't have the copyright for that. <laughs> that's not mittens. Ma'am, you're, ma you're not. Yeah, you're not knitting mittens. That's a sweater. Is that, a sweater. Is that frisks? That looks like frisks. It does a little bit. A little yeah. bit, yeah. It's just straight up a sweater. McGill did lends money at extortionate rates of interest, so his victims have no hope of repaying him. A little just like when Castlevania as music. Mm. When they default, he takes possession of everything they own. He is a vulture that preys on the weak. And you have evidence of this? I've I've never heard any mention of that before. Your faculties haven't deserted you, I'm sure, madam. So has this thought not crossed your mind? Would a man wealthy enough to buy London in his entirety not have a carriage of his own? Would uh, have his own pants? <laughs> huh. What possible reason could this man have had? To make use of a public omnibus service. Well, let's ask him, shall uh, we? I don't know. Ask people like Keanu um, Reeves or whatever. Don't make Granny sad. Oh, she's stress knitting now. Yeah. <laughs> um. Eh, You're me. not saying that. Yeah. <laughs> the victim, a poor brickmaker, had next to nothing to his name, save considerable financial liability. Was he the most famous brickmaker? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's no surprise that his creditor was the accused Magnus Begilded. According to RPG, who was the Brickmaster? The Brickmaster, yeah. 
But let it also be known that the very day Mr. Mason was killed was the final repayment day for his debts. How do you know this? How do you know all this? Like, where are you getting it from? I get it. Mason. Bricks. Mason. Oh, you only get that now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been thinking about Mason jars all day. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I guess you. Well, I mean, you, you can't you can't you can't put bricks in those unless they're big enough. You, I never you did. You would be thinking of list. jars, wouldn't you? Instead of like bricks. <laughs> I don't know if he had any jars. The brick master was destitute. He had lost his house. He had not a shilling which, with which to repay his debts. And in the end, his pitiful soul had the very last thing he owned taken from him. His life. Where Damn. is this coming from? Like, where is it, where did he have this information? Yeah, where, I don't know. Does, do you have a contract or something? That we need... It sounds like he's making this shit up. Yeah. For now. By the merciless philanthropist pretender, Magnus McGilded. I don't believe it. Thank you, Sister Hold it! Oh. If I might add something briefly. M Mr. Sato? You claim that the victim has been lent money by Mr. McGilded. Where is the proof? But yeah. where is the evidence to support your claim? Why is the, where is the evidence that we're going to use oh, against oh, you? Oh, 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 oh. I feel like she should be guys, British, but I can't. Like, my guys, British accent is not. Where did that bottle come from? Yeah, where did that bottle come what? from? Where did that bottle come from? Oh, he has a bottle. Where did that bottle? has a, a reaper with two sides. Die, monster! You it's don't belong in this world! It's a celebration champagne bottle. That was wine, actually. No, it's wine. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's me. It's me. Die, it's monster! Me. You on. don't belong in this world! <laughs> this is evil me. Uh, ben Zeeks <laughs> is now the new wine mom. RPG, inside of you, there are two Phoenix Rats. It's a terrible character. What do you feed? There's a good boy, Kazuma, <laughs> and <laughs> evil boy, <laughs> Ben Zeeks. <laughs> who is the one they feed? <laughs> Pray forgive the discourtesy of filling my hollowed chalice in a court of law. <laughs> He's drinking on the job. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Lord Van Zeeks' hollowed chalice. Why? <laughs> How can this be considered acceptable? I got okay, you. Habit of his. Yeah. But I find myself RPG, I like the idea that Van Zeeks becomes progressively more drunk as he drinks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he's, he's, no, he drinks. He he's he has he he's done this like so often and he has a tolerance built up. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, he he been, be, like, it's been like five you know, years since he's done it. Mm. Maybe, maybe he becomes more um, dramatic. We call those alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't want to be rude, okay? I didn't want to be rude. He's he so, he's so handsome. I didn't want to be rude. Worry about it. I had heard ladies from the far east could show great courage, but I didn't expect to experience it myself. It was quite arousing, you see. Uh. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. She's half your age. I don't have uh. pants, you eat. Yeah, really. She's 16. <laughs> yeah. You see, my pants, they do not exist now. <laughs> They've been broken. Uh, as judicial assistant... <laughs> no. <laughs> as, as a judicial assistant to the defense, I'm simply doing my job. That is a good it's wisdom. A wisdom. That's you a good wisdom. Good wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> what a pity that your display of courage is in vain. Damn it! This is Letters Ledger, which details I mean, all money by the accused. All monies. Is that gonna be, have another uh, name with them in there? <laughs> all pants yeah, worn by the accused. The what? Oh yeah, that all might pants. be. Huh. <laughs> you will find the victim's name clearly recorded inside. He requested 27 pairs of pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh. Allow me to present this ledger as evidence. Thank you. I want to take a look at it, please. You haven't taken a sip yet. And Die, please, monster. You, you don't belong in this world. world. You must let the wine sit in the glass so the perfumes can perforate. And it has to breathe. Discussy. Has to breathe. Of, no, that's why the bottle was open already. Aerating? <laughs> the discourtesy of raising my chalice in a toast to the enigmatic East at the same time. A marvelous toast council. We'll gladly accept <laughs> this new evidence. Me every breakfast. <laughs> I'll gladly accept this new evidence. <laughs> no, the toast. <laughs> I did not actually get that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
wish I was making a joke, but I was Can we see? Yeah, 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 yeah let's, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Something about 20 guineas. Oh, wait, wait, the description. Catalog of people who borrowed money from the defendant at a high rate of interest. It includes the victim includes who owed victim, 20 guineas. Solely the victim. Right. No, no monogram on here. No, no, no M, no W. No, okay, cool. Open it. Big fat M. <laughs> this portfolio must contain all sorts of secrets of London's gentry. Oh dear. Do you really think we ought to look inside? Well, it's not as though we don't, we know any of London's gentry personally, is it? Apart from a great detective friend, perhaps. Is he gentry though? Sherlock Moms. Actually, I wonder. <laughs> I assure you we will not find Mr. Sean's name inside. No, well, let's, 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 let's see what we find. I mean, he is famous, supposedly. Mm -hmm. But is he gentry? Oh, wow. Well. Well, I can't read hey, this shit. At... What is that, the, the top? Uh, uh, hey, the top I gotta be honest, I can't. Does it look like I, the I M from the... Uh, gonna be that honest, does not I'm look not like sure an M, though. Right, that's on top right. On the top oh, this right. this right here. This that might that might be just like Doctor Scribbles. I don't know, man. Check it out. This is Doctor Scribbles right here, man. Gosh, it's cram full of gentlemen's names, isn't it? Well, I suppose they're probably not all gentlemen at all, are they? After all, not everyone in this country is well off. No. Ah, uh, goodness. What is it? Look at this. Do you see the name here? Bruce Fairplay. Bruce Fairplay. That's, Bruce that's the, the 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 win is the banker guy. That's the banker guy. He's a Captain little, little suspect. Something <laughs> immediately. It sounds strangely right familiar, yeah. actually. Bruce Fairplay, <laughs> the witness testifying at this very moment. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, yes, of course, the banker. What? Why is his name in here? Because he's a banker. Oh, he borrowed twenty Guinness, did he? And, and, and look, the repayment date is fast approaching. Should probably let him know. <laughs> I mean, he should have. Why didn't he stab Magnus if you owed him money? Why did he stab the other guy and and like counted 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 on Magnus? Like a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. He's he's getting a. It's possible that a thing to pay another. Uh, it's or maybe he confused who it was because mm. he couldn't recognize him normally. It's possible that this could just be a coincidence, of course, but this could be very useful information. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Bruce did it. Bruce did it. <laughs> Bruce did it. <laughs> Is Bruce fair play? So he has changed from having the name of the of my gilded. Yep. Was the other page different? Uh, it's probably just the same thing. Yeah. But yeah, the thing updated anyway, so it says like uh, yeah. that is just Bruce Fairplay. That's that's what we got. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's new now. Ah oh, yes, <laughs> twenty guineas. <laughs> and oh, the yeah. judge said, <laughs> uh, uh, "The victim owed a considerable sum." I thought not, we already read this. Not just, so not that's just, why I was confused. Not just the victim. And the accused made quite certain he had ample recompense. 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 Whatever. It's a recompense. 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 Oh, Grandma is so sad. Well, it would seem I've... Hold it! I've had the wool pulled over oh, no. my eyes. Ah, oh, knitting jokes. Oh. <laughs> Regrettably, madam, that is the modus operandi of the accused. And it's such a pretty little part, too. What a scoundrel. Don't you dare. Wait. Don't you dare. Still. Yeah. Don't you dare. Hold it. Hold <laughs> it. Hold it. Oh, uh, wait, wait a minute. Let's think about this a little more before. Hold it. I don't stand for nonsense. No, you're sitting in Grandma. fact. Hold it. Please. Oh. Wait, you just instantly lose? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. That was it. The last jurist decision. Ah, <laughs> uh, according it to says this he's on that you fucked up. <laughs> encyclopedia. <laughs> according to this encyclopedia of British law. When all members of the jury have concluded that the defendant is guilty, court proceedings are suspended, and the presiding judge will deliver the final verdict and sentence. That's what it says here. 
<laughs> Final verdict. It's over then. Oh. Slap. <laughs> it's just like, there's a footnote, though. A footnote? However, the defense. Shut the fuck up. All I six was members of the jury are now in agreement in this case. No, wait. However, the defense. <laughs> It's just, however, the defense. Allow me to convey my respect for your swift and righteous decision. According to the laws of this country, I will now conclude the trial. Hold it. Sisato's just the corner, like, no one asked for your opinion, Grandpa. I trust there are no objections. Hold it right there, criminal scum. You violated my mother. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you violated my pants. <laughs> uh. Mr. Sato, just tell me one thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were in the middle of saying something before. A footnote in your encyclopedia of British law. <laughs> However, the defense. What did you say next? Oh, yes, of course. One moment. <laughs> I'm to fire I'm gonna slap your book again. When all members of the jury have concluded that the defendant is guilty, court proceedings are suspended, and the presiding judge will deliver the final verdict and sentence. Then the footnote says, however, oh. the defense <laughs> has the right, has to, the right to demand a summation examination. Oh, a summation examination of the jurors at this point. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, so they have to reiterate the entire case. Of not playing, of not being uh, impartial. Yeah. I feel like we're going to get a to be continued on this. Cool. I like, I like this. This is, this is nice. Let's so wait, wait. So, so, so this is like, this is like. So this is like the Danganronpa like ending comic strip thing, just with the jurors. <laughs> uh, summation examination. Crustacean station. Ooh. Objection. You can object all you like. I like hearing your voice. <laughs> Daddy, sorry. Daddy, <laughs> sorry. Daddy, from which, sorry. From which century has that tome you have there been resurrected? Uh oh. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> is that not a thing anymore? I don't want to like scream judging, into it. Judging from the binding, I would say that book is at least 50 years old. Damn, Sato, he'll be writing for a while. Any modern text on British law wouldn't even give us such an antiquated procedure I mention. Yeah, but is it still but a it thing, is though? Existing. It, it is an <laughs> extinct. It's a relic long forgotten and certainly no longer practiced. That doesn't mean it's it's been abolished. Yeah. Has it been abolished? That's the real question. Has it been yeah. removed from the law? So you're out of luck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what even is it, Mr. Sato? The so-called summation examination. Oh, um, <laughs> she pulls out the book again. Yep. One it's moment, I'll read about it. Old. You would demand the right to a procedure before you even understand what it entails. We've yes. lost all hope. Please consider this. <laughs> we already got a good verdict. Yeah, exactly. Typical Nipponese. I thought you didn't I, know I, the I, Nipponese. I, what? Why are you saying typical? You, you've Nipponese never is... been. Don't you say typical? I, I've read something that this Nipponese right. thing is one in, on the middle of the the thing about Von Karma and this whole game. Von Karma? Racism. Who's that? Who's yeah, Von Karma? Von is from the from the original game, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, Karma is the name of Barak. the sword. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it is. It's the racism thing. It's like yeah. Yeah, the Nipponese is specifically this term, I think, that it, mm -hmm. it was in the middle of the mm -hmm. yep. thing. All right, Mr. Narukoto. Okay. It seems that <laughs> under this procedure, <laughs> okay. we would be able to appeal to the to the members of the jury. Oh, I'm bad at appealing. To do what exactly? Appeal to them. <laughs> That's it. To change <laughs> their <it>. leading <laughs> reverse their decisions. And here it says that if successful, the proceedings of the trial must be resumed. Make them reverse their decisions. Yes, in times gone by, barristers would use a summation examination to attempt to influence the jury's decision. But that procedure becomes something of a formality with no practical benefit, really. So I'd rather fill out of use. Oh, but it's still a thing, though. It's still a thing. 
A lot of views doesn't mean it was abolished. Mm -hmm. Probably because they sucked at convincing people. Yeah. Because it was devoid of purpose. Changing just one member of the jury's mind would be hard enough, let alone several. Well, let me try. No self-respecting defense barrister would even assert his right to try in this day and age. Well, let me try. <laughs> Still. I don't see any mention of the procedure, actually, that being formally revoked. Thank you. Payouts. <laughs> what, what are you suggesting? What is this going, like, head-to-head? -head? I'm suggesting that although it may be an antiquated, antiquated. antiquated and largely forgotten, it isn't yet ex ex extinct. extinct. Oh, look, <laughs> look, look who is in now. <laughs> Susato is clearly the main character. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. What do, you, <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Naruhodo? Let's do it! I don't know. You, I'm just yeah, a bumbling idiot. Summation examination. Our last possible option. Our last possible option. Should we do it? Nah. Forget <laughs> about it. Nah. That guy is dead. Do we assert our right to carry it out or admit defeat? Uh, Jerry gave us a thousand guinea. Plankton be like, I said assert, not insert. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sholmes will get me, who got me as his friend, as his assistant, instead of me being a lawyer. Eh. BRB, let me take this to Twitter. I don't know. Do you, hmm, Twitter poll? What do you say? Assert the right. <laughs> let, me, let me flip a coin. Okay. Hold it on. hit me in the eye. Damn it. Right okay, we do it. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the defense oh, wishes to assert its right to summation examination, my lord. Objection. No. <laughs> London is the capital city of the most powerful nation on earth. For now. What about Russia? Uh, uh, we have a, at the time it was not as powerful for sure. We have a duty to the world to exemplify the very highest standards of judicial procedure. Submission examinations are an embarrassment that should remain buried. Objection! Objection! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> but if it's Objection. all right, it's all right. It's beef strong enough. <laughs> I believe we could prove violent. It could prove violent in this trial. The defense's petition is perfectly valid. Thank you. I wish I had more, like, confidence in my British accent, but, like, I really don't. Do you think I have confidence in any accent I do? Yeah. <laughs> no. The court will proceed with the summation examination, and my accents constantly change, so, like, this is madness. No, this is London. No, this is Sparta. <laughs> this is France. I can this see your underpants. <laughs> I, I'm wearing pants, though. Foreman, are you and the remainder of the jury ready? Foreman? Huh? <laughs> wow, this this handkerchief is not doing anything for your face. <laughs> like how it makes his nose you need, jiggle. You need dude, dude, dude you need yeah, you need ouchy hands is what you need. Pay attention to how it makes his nose jiggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, just, I just noticed. received, you see. So, uh, all members of the jury will be asked to explain on what grounds they have reached their decision. Yeah, you see, I was paid off, um... <laughs> on what grounds? The fair grounds. You must all justify your decisions and explain why you believe the defendant to be guilty. I feel like this should just be standard procedure, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, shouldn't it? Right, yeah, exactly. Like, this is the kind of thing that I would expect of people. Yeah. Oh, you thought this was supposed to be, this was supposed to be an easy thing, right? An open and shut case? No. This is mostly regular. Mention was made of this before. I don't really hold with all this justifying luck. <laughs> I feel like you need this guy so to be more complex. Yeah, he should he should sound a little bit more. I don't know. Different. I, well, I don't think he's that. Well, he might be pompous. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, he he has the ridge, but he he's he, he more arrogant maybe. Arrogant. All right, I'll try for more. Arrogant I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll try for more arrogant next time. Yeah, I, 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 if I see the guy again, I'm gonna try to give him a voice that I have in my head for him. But mm -hmm. that I seems like to have thrown it. the jurors off. That's good. That's fine. Don't worry, Chew. I'll try again. It seems none of them have experienced this before. I won't uh, change my right, voice then. for him. The summation okay. examination. Have a character example. It's Draco Malfoy saying, "My dad is gonna hear about this." 
My father my will hear father. about this. Yeah. My father will hear about this. <laughs> Defense <laughs> procedure. No practicing lawyer has attempted for years, is it? Oh, just me. Dude. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's got to be. It's got to be like. Potter. Potter. Yeah. Might be the opportunity we've been looking for to turn this trial around. I won't go that excessive, but yeah. So be it then, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the court has hereby anyone calls seen that, upon you. That TikTok, like, where, no. where someone does the voiceover, and, like, I think it's like the first or the second Harry Potter. It's like, no, Ron, you can't. I. Not me, not Hermione, you. No. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> it like over exaggerates everyone. <laughs> just take the grounds on which you find the defendant, my Miss McGill, the guilty of this most serious crime. Snape. Snape. Yeah, honestly, this Severus. feels like it should be a standard. Snape. I'm getting Snape. completely honest. Snape. Sounds like it should be a standard. Snape. Judicial Snape. findings. The jurors contention. Sense, my ass. <laughs> Impartiality, my ass. What? Is that a fake rose? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure. Sorry. No. There's no message on the at the time, so you better have me hit. I trust the driver. He has an excellent memory, it seems. Four passengers with with fast only twenty pence. Well Okay, that's totally why. He stopped oh. the chap next to him just like this. Brazen, I must say. Absolutely brazen. Hey, he stuck the chip next to him like this. Brazen, I must say. Absolutely brazen. No, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm right. Brazen. Yeah. brazen. I, like, I like going like a little like... Yeah. Like that. Spank. <laughs> collated? Collated? Oh, collated? Collated, yeah. Collated. Collated. Oh, okay. The collated? Made this far and the draw, the, and draw the logical conclusion. I must spank I, I my typewriter know. like this. <laughs> <laughs> you are a naughty typewriter. <laughs> you can trust the guild. Fair fails and eyes are not always prices about four pence. So there, there should be, it's it's four pence. So four people should yeah, be it should be sixteen. Pence. What? Yes, yeah, so he got twenty pence. Got yeah, so there is one. There is one. Yeah, one exactly. I, I was just gonna say Therefore, four pence. He also has a terrible memory. Four times four is sixteen, dude. <laughs> Or he's just very bad. Whoa, there's, there it is. <laughs> the scout. The it's ouchie span all over again. Stabbing that poor man on the floor. A beggar's re a belief. Belief. A beggar's belief. Uh, yeah, I barely it, heard that. It's it, it beggars. Yeah, beggar's belief. It puggers belief. I'm, I'm starting to wish I hadn't you pushed for this now. You believe it. <laughs> Some of the jurors don't seem to have wonder wonderfully formed arguments, though, do they? No, not at all. No, not well, let's see don't. what we can do. We need to get these six people to change their minds. I'll have to throw everything I can at them. Oh, how about you throw the knife? <laughs> they use some very persuasive language. Use my sword Just and my armband and my clothes and my axe and my assistant. <laughs> Just throw the book. Throw the book. Actually, and he use me. And quite how it works. Works. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna have to thaw their icy minds with some heartwarming rhetoric about the defendant. <laughs> Unfortunately, once the jurors have decided the defendant is guilty, they're unlikely to heed anything the defense says. Well, I just have to shout loud enough then. <laughs> but, 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 but then... They've reached their conclusions by their own reasoning, you see. Your pleas will sound like excuses. In fact, it, sh it could recoil on you. The more you try to persuade them, the more enriched th and entrenched. the more entrenched they become. Then what on earth am I supposed to do? Present oh evidence. dear, I'm just citing what I've read about British law, Mr. Naruhodo. Right, I'm sorry. Do you have any idea how to nope. make this work then? Don't hate the that. messenger. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I understand, the key is to proceed. Fuck. <laughs> the key to this procedure is using the juror's own words to make an argument. What do you mean? Yeah, you know the thing about four pens? Well, mm -hmm. the six members of the jury are randomly selected members of the public. So we'll probably use the number five to contradict the number mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They may appear to present a united front, but the truth is... They hate each other's guts. They're complete strangers who just happen to find themselves in the courtroom together. Yeah, they probably hate each other's guts. 
that's, I mean, that's probably that's probably not, what we're gonna what we're gonna have to do here is like no jury number five is not a stranger to one of the he's well, not yeah, a stranger he to he the witness yeah but like not among the jurors those are strangers mm -hmm. yeah and that's the way to break them down you mean yeah exactly oh hi i knew this I didn't quite understand the strategy but okay we must yeah. listen very carefully to what each member of the jury I says. Want, I do not want to understand how to select a See, you collect sentence. truth bullets, and with that, you shoot statements. <laughs> and it's see if we can identify any contradictory <laughs> statements. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Truth blades, and you slash statements. <laughs> if we can, we can. We then contrast the statements and pit the corresponding jurors yes. against each other. Oh, yeah! Cat fight! Cat fight! Cat fight! <laughs> Test See. your might. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! <laughs> I see. So it's contradictions in what in what two or more jurors say that we're looking for. In a way, then, this is similar to a regular cross-examination. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yes. I I suppose you're right. Except in, it's not like, it's not directly in opposition with the witnesses themselves. It's specifically to get the jurors to disagree on something. Find contradictions in their statements and pit the jurors against one another to break them down. All right. Well, the witnesses gave us plenty. To I work might be able to pull this off. Of the guy. No, that's not right. I feel like you need the evidence here. You just. Do, do. The, I have to pull this there off. There are immediately two contradicting. Yeah, you, you probably you can't. Yeah, it's the thing. You can't use evidence here. You have to use yeah. only their statements. Yeah. Can we start proceedings, counsel? I will ask you to take the stand for this. I'm expecting a clear and concise rebuttal. Yes, my lord. This is cool. Hey. Jury examination. The defense is rebuttal. Poor people. Poor Bethel, he's just cold. All right. There are no one left to touch a courage at the time, so it has to be me. I wonder how this works now. Yeah, if I wait, if I mean, I'm a, you probably pressed them, but yeah, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press uh, the carriage. So I'm gonna press number five oh, yeah. here, because he's talking about the prices. Yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. Go back to three. Go back to three. Go back to three for a second. What does he say? He stuck the chap next to him, just like this. Just like this. No, okay. but if you're going to pit them against each other, well, then it's clearly right. for them too. She, she yeah. said that with the twenty pence. Yeah. So well, it's yeah. So like, so it's a, so it's 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 two cases. Sniper mate. No, 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 no. I have to pit five against two. Yeah, I'm saying the first one. Yeah. Two and three, six. Those are the two cases that I see immediately. Wait, what? Because mm -hmm. the old lady says on the floor. Oh, right. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demonstrating oh, yeah. a different stabbing motion. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Then, wait, can you see then uh, one and, yep. and four? Yeah, one and four. What, what do they say? Those no one else. So it has to have been him. Put out okay. the librarian lady. Okay, no, that's, uh -huh. that's nothing. Uh -huh. that's okay, so so do we do we do we do we do we press or do we pit yeah. immediately? So I don't know if, if we but need. I feel like we we wait. We can press. Yeah, uh -huh. oh, yeah. So let's yeah. press. Yeah, we can press. So I want to hear more about the prices. I think. Yeah. That's how much it costs to take the omnibus. That's right. As the master, I decided to set a policy for all drivers. Oh, I, I just noticed that his mustache is also in the. Yeah, I said I said that earlier. It looks like a horseshoe too. <laughs> I just thought that it was a weird mustache, and then I saw that it is very straight. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it is a weird mustache, but we mentioned that like an hour ago. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> One frown, no matter which bus you take or how far you're going. I mean, that's not that's exactly a good business economy. model, but that's it's very commendable, I guess. I guess it's commendable, but that's not a good way to run a business. No, not not really. We have to compete with the rise of the motor car, you see. Oh, right. We are fucked. Damn. We are royally screwed. I mean, so I was right. So this is like the 1890s ish, then. Yeah. With the rise of the motor car. Mm hmm. Our scotchmen have to make a stand together. Yeah, unionizing is not going to help you here. No. Motor cars, you say? Yes, and this murder of one of our men. This is extremely damaging. Oh, God. I the idea that he just loses the train of thought. Yeah, can you find it? It's beyond the pale. 
I'll lead to a decline in passengers. You mark my words, and it's all that rascal's fault. He has to pray. <laughs> is it a crime? <laughs> Wait, is it the crime or his buses he's more worried about? Then let's press the number two. How does she know that it was yep. tiny? Well, it's because Beppo said so. Every member of my guild is reliable and trustworthy. So if the driver says he saw him do it, but further when the dock is as guilty as soon. I'm literally like bobbling around to emulate the drunkenness. Nice. <laughs> and also we can press her to see what, what is the thing that she has typed. That too. That could be interesting to see. Oh yeah. All right. Do this first. Mm -hmm. But does his ability to recall his takings that night really tell us how trustworthy the I manage all his lordship's cash affairs, so I'm very particular when it comes to accounts. I see. A single penny can make the difference between life and death after all, can't it? That's... that's a saying in your country? My point is, a man who minds his figures is a man you can trust. Those of us in service would swear to that, sir. Does that bench really need any more polishing? I mean, people it's are like being down, it's, like a divot. <laughs> it's like a divot there. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's like no fucking paint left. It's just the bare thing. It's just, just the bare wood there now. <laughs> so if the good driver says he saw Mr. McGillard in the act, I don't doubt him. The only task left to do is disposing of the rubbish. Oh no! Wait a minute. Take the trash out. I thought the jurors mentioned something about money. I think. Mm. Now would be a very good time mm. to listen carefully to the juror statements again, Mr. Nadohodo. No, thank you. I'm good. You notice an inconsistency in what two different jurors are saying. I should expose it by pitting them against each other. Yeah, so let's see if I can do this. Just, just that. Just, just that. I think so we have it. No, not you, Mr. Brazen. All right. Two and right. five. Two and five. Two and five. Yeah. Right. Pit. Just pit immediately. It's time, time for some Kid Icarus here. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, this is like five. Is selected now. My eyes. Wait, what? It started with five. Now select the other one. Yeah. And then oh, okay. Her. It's already selected. Okay, nice. So yeah, it's already pre-selected the guy you started with. So now, Objection. there we go. Objection. Objection. Those two statements clearly contradict each other. They do. Explain yourself, counsel. Me? Oh dear. What have I said? I swear on Silver Blaze's main name. I haven't the first. Idea what you're talking about. Honestly, I think in a moment like this, he would have been like sober for a second because he's because he was startled. I just like, oh. I like the idea that oh, look at him! Oh. According to the group testimony we've heard so far, there were four passengers on the omnibus on the night in question. You could even hear his steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And according to the coachman, Mr. Beppo, he took 20 pence in fares. Quite right. I have this precise detail site legally here in front of me. And juror number five also told us the following. The fare for the omnibus is always four pence. That it is. A fair and convenient single price. Just the way London's carriages should be operated. But that doesn't add up at all. In fact, it leaves a glaring discrepancy in the facts. Why, man? Why? Four passengers paying four pence each. If you do the multiplication... Huh? It would be 16 pence. Exactly. As I said, it doesn't add up. The figures are different. By four pence, in fact. Or precisely, one person's fare. Look at that smug grin, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> one person's fare? Oh, no. Yes. Now. In other words, on the omnibus that night, it's distinctly possible there was another passenger we've heard nothing about. Good gracious. My word. Now, gosh, golly. This, 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 this can't be right. The, the, the coachmen of the guild are good, honest men, and one and all. Trustworthiness is our watchword. The figures your coachman claims most certainly do not add up your watchword, good sir. It's a fall- Oh, your watchword, good sir. It's fallacy. <laughs> nice. I beg your pardon, bitch. 
<laughs> Mr. Goodmaster, I think you ought to consider that if this trial would end now, the news will surely spread all over London. The news that one of your coachmen tried to hide the fact that he lets nefarious characters ride his omnibus. I... <laughs> that, I, I feel like there's a... No, I'm not, no. <clears throat> All right, then. How do I make it so this miserable trial doesn't end? Hmm? Change the color of you your seat. Your yeah. <laughs> this is beeping. Well, according to my book here... I don't know what was beeping. Oh, okay. It's fine. You simply launch a ball of fire into the innocent <laughs> side of the set of scales. Fireball! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it's simply easy. launch a ball of fire. Fireball! Fireball! <laughs> Just launch a ball of fire, you know. Dr. Hogg, we want to get a good friend. We want to get a good friend. Why we have to. Wait till I get my hands on you, Beppo. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, do it. Hey, we're 20% now. And now it's, it's not a... Uh... Oh, he's just lazy. Begging your pardon, sir. I'm going to do the same. Oh, oh for the love of Mike. Who's Mike? Mike? I love him. <laughs> not me. Saint Michael? Saint Michael? Mike Wazowski? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Penny can be the difference between a smile and a tear, and a tear, after all. I certainly can't put my trust in someone who doesn't follow my ex exacting standards in financial matters. I can't add. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I, for one, think it's only proper that we hear from the witnesses again. Oh, well done, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Done. Matterhoda. You did it! If we can manage to change two or more jurors' minds, we can force the trial to continue. Yeah, so yeah okay, we so got, we got this. Yeah, two more. Do one and four. Yeah. Actually, there's oh. something else that's bothering me about a couple of their assertions. Yep. Then that's where you must strike next. So you need to put two more jurors against each other and show there's another contradiction in their assertions. Exactly. You can do it. Pretty easy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is oh. a tutorial for it. Yeah. Well, the scales of justice have shifted, but they still weigh heavy on the side of guilt. And this My is life. just to continue the trial, isn't <laughs> yeah, exactly. it? Exactly, it's, it's just to continue the trial. Uh-huh. Counsel, you have the floor again. Continue with your summation examination. Okay, so not her. It's three no. and six. No, it's knife guy and grandma. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like this statement. Knife guy and granny. I, li I like this statement. I want to see what the other guy says. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so it's it's Granny and Mr. Yep, Granny and Stabby Dude. Fight! <laughs> Injection. That, that Those two statements are completely contradictory. What? Blame Council. No taste. Oh dearie me! I was I I was only knitting a jumper for my other half. So you were knitting it for your grandson. No, what is all this clap trap? What does contradictory even mean? I ask you. Uh, oh my God, oh, this guy is no we've shit. heard from more than one witness that they allegedly saw the actual moment when the defendant stabbed the victim. Now, out of curiosity, juror number three. <laughs> what? Can't you see that I'm busy here? What? Stop playing with your knife. How would you say the defendant stabbed the victim? What sort of motion was it? <laughs> Want to test me, do ya? It was like this. Suck the fellow next to him without even getting up. Just like the prim banker said. But technically they would have had to be across from each other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, right? Or, the but also, or he had to like, or he had to, to turn in front like, of each other. he had to turn. And then they also said that he was on the floor. Yeah. Both of those positions are wrong. <laughs> now then, exactly. juror number six. And then Granny said. Juror number six? Juror number six. Oh, is that me? She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. What can I do for you, young man? <laughs> 
How would you say the defendant stabbed the victim, madam? Oh, well, dear. As far as I'm understand, as far as I understand it, it was like this. He stabbed the poor man after he collapsed on the floor. Coachman said so. Oh, the unreliable coachman yep, who can't even, <laughs> who can't even multi that. multiply. Well, he. Hmm, here's the thing. I don't know if he no, was no. actually. Off. He might not have actually been incorrect, but he might have not actually stabbed him while he was on the floor. Uh huh. Now don't move. <laughs> Take a look at these two on, jurors. He made all in on the knife. He stuck oh. the fellow next to him without even getting up, and he stabbed the poor man after he collapsed on the floor. Well, I never. They are. They're stabbing in totally different directions. Oh, man, I hated when God. I was stabbing in different directions. What? You should stop playing with Bless my knife. stitches. What a muddle. <laughs> Bless, my Bless, stitches. My Bless, stitches. Bless my stitches. What this tells us is that there's a strong possibility one of the witnesses isn't telling the truth. Oh. Uh, but why? Why the dickens would they lie? Because so one of them did it. I don't know that yet, but what I do know is that if the trial ends at this point, we may never find out. We may never if know I the real truth. Limb, I would probably say it's that fair play guy, because if he owed debt, he probably tried to stage a murder, so then he wouldn't owe buddy debt. I mean, that's the exactly first thats the first thought you would get, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, can you really let that happen in all good conscience? Yes. <laughs> Lies, you say? Oh, dearie me. Oh, dear. I can't abide people telling lies. I like this image. This is Granny with his face. <laughs> Which with a is great, isn't it? <laughs> the, the scales. I, I, I don't believe it. Have you not been paying attention? Is this oh, the first time they've been in the white? I've, I haven't been paying much attention. Honest. Go ahead, this my friend, dude. I warn you, you cannot listen to this man. Well, You're juror number one has been paid why off. Why is so, juror number why one has so been paid off, like this? for sure. This guy is in the me is in the pocket of that fair play do dude. You, do you owe something? <laughs> like, what's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, mid fair play probably play, paid okay, the juror sir? off. Do you need help? Uh -huh. Yeah, something seems uh, off here. Look at him. Black food. It's from DVD Okay. <laughs> if I could use match, the only thing I'd be putting was through all this. What do you think he is? Uh, huh? Me? What exactly is the problem? What if the two witnesses slide slightly different recollection of it? Slightly different? What? What of it? It's a question. Uh, let's say the child did step the victim after he was sent back to him on the omnibus. And the young then they saw him do it. And now the victim the victim put up on the floor. Then the child stabbed him again. We know that it's only been one step. But there's only one step, yeah. And did one lady saw him do it? Well, well neither of them why did you say step in the deck? No, in fuck, praise. Because he was stabbed in the front once. Who are you calling a dandy star? Why, I should take this knife to you! Bailiff, Ooh, tackle this man! <laughs> uh, Who are you calling old? I should take this needle to you. Bailiff, tackle her! <laughs> uh, they're ready to kill each other now. Good. Yeah, but Good, I say. Uh, my, my favorite imagery is like the bailiff tackles her, but like she can't, she can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> The idea that the bailiff goes to goes to tackle her, then just hits her like she's an immovable object. And just <laughs> it's like a, like a fucking wall just like, <laughs> and just dies. Could the moment of the jury be right? No. If the two witnesses see two different moments of the same crime, no. It's out of the question. Out of question. Unfortunately, Mr. Foreman. Huh? What is it, you Dark Jinx? Come on. Wow, he lost some respect for me. Dark, dark Jinx was capitalized in his last statement. <laughs> Damn <Right>. it! <laughs> it used to be a title. <laughs> <laughs> what you're suggesting is impossible. It's out of the question. What? What? what are you talking about, man? How can you possibly say that? 
Well, we're not so different, you and I, then. <laughs> As a foreman of the jury, I have a responsibility to steer everyone in the right direction. So, where is your evidence, man? This is what we want to see. I say the two witnesses saw two different moments at the same crime. Uh. If we say that's out of the question, show me for proof. The autopsy. Done. Yep. Yep. It looks like the only way I'm going to convince him is to present it with something he can't dismiss. Some irrefutable hard evidence. As you wish. As you wish. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Didn't expect that confidence, yeah. eh? I'll give you the proof. It's out of the question the that the two witnesses saw, saw two different moments of the same crime, as proven by... Wait. This one? The autopsy. The autopsy. Single stabbed Single. once. There we go. Single stab wound to the abdomen. Three, two, one. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Take that. This is the victim's autopsy report. According to what's written here, Mr. Mason was stabbed in the abdomen you. only once. Huh? See, I think the reason uh, like this so wait. screws me up with like the British accent because every time I see him, I always think of Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Mm. And Phoenix Wright does Arnold. not have a British accent. No, he's American. Nope. Nope. Exactly. Like that's the thing. He's, no, it's he's from San Mary. He's from he's from San Francisco. <laughs> Japanifornia. It's quite simple. <laughs> the victim was stabbed precisely one time. That's what once means. Which means these witnesses can't possibly have seen it happen two different times. It's creak, creak, creak. His knife uh, is gone. Are you, you did not just fling your knife at the judge, did you? <laughs> that is just a small trickle of blood starts to what? appear from off screen. Um. <laughs> okay. All right, I concede defeat. He's innocent because I was wrong. Hey. Now we're <laughs> two in the right direction. Wait, that, what happens now? Th that means. Four jurors are leaning on to, 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 to not guilty. We've done it, Mr. Narahoto. We've won. Mm, not no, yet. We just, no. We, now we continue the... Oh no, exactly. Now we stop the trial and then we continue. Mm -hmm. why, why, why are you playing that? You, 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 you fool. I was supposed to have supper 40 minutes ago. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I smell it. I smell it to be continued coming up, so... Yeah. Shut your trap, sir. I hope so. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> no one deceives me. <laughs> no one. <laughs> but Mary had a consensus. I said, shut your trap. <laughs> Thank I know you. I'm I see one. And if the chap ever dares to cross the threshold of my shop, Ooh. I'll take this razor shot and shave yeah. every last hair off his head. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, this dude's yeah. like borderline psychopath and I don't like it. Please tell me he's a barber. Please tell me he's a barber. Sweeney Todd. Attend the table, Sweeney Todd. What a quite remarkable turn of events. The defense summation examination has flipped the balance on the scales of justice. The jurors now stand at two for guilty and four for not guilty. Accordingly, there is no longer a large enough majority among the jury for me to adjudicate. And the trial must continue. Hey! Hooray! <laughs> I hereby ask the defense, prosecution, and witnesses to return to their places. And now we continue the trial. Yeah. And I, comp I call upon all of you to continue to pursue the truth. Here I am again. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lord Van Zeeks, continue to substantiate the case for the prosecution, if you please. Hmm. It's been a while since I've done this voice. <laughs> yep. All right, he still exists. Is there just not any sound? Nope. Uh, yep, there is not. I just like the idea that he just throws the entire glass. Oh. Nope, he doesn't. I was not expecting that. 
Having savored the rich aroma of the carmine contents of this hallowed chalice. Did you just destroy your fabled hallowed chalice? Where did the no, I have like go? 17 more. <laughs> this is like a dough. Cross to crush it to dust. Pray forgive the discourtesy. It's like a dough with a coffee cup always like slides in from, uh, from off screen. Can, can we get can we get someone to clean up the the glass shards? Yeah, Miss Maid, how about you come down here and sweep this up, please? L Lord Van Zeeks. Oh, is it cold in here? Or is it just me? I know. I know. You're sweating. Apple feels it too. <laughs> As your antiquated tome no doubt says, the prosecution may not speak during a summation examination. Ooh, interesting. Oh. So I honored a deathly silence and listened and to I the am charade. Now drunk. <laughs> charade. It seems I overestimated the intelligence of the jury. <laughs> Y'all stupid. Wow. Y'all stupid. <laughs> Y'all smooth brain. Y'all are stupid. Y'all fucking stupid. <laughs> well. Well, no matter. There is nothing so hard to prove as a self-evident truth, it would seem. Uh, no, and why else would we disgrace the courtroom with our presence after all? It would be grace. <laughs> so... Let us proceed to the next round of battle. On guard. Round two. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> because... no. Ooh, ooh, the cloak is off. Bring forth the witnesses once more. I would love if, if cuts to to real no scan. The cloak was just all on. Over yeah. <laughs> like a dough in his coffee. Witnesses. I trust you heard the summation examination we have just had to endure. <laughs> Oh, yes, that, that, that I did, sir. Oh, it's a hurt. Noise. Oh, yes, sir, I heard it. You, sir, on the end. The coachman, I believe it's... Beppo? Yes, sir. Beppo. If it transpires that in your previous testimony... You are attempting to veil the presence of a fifth passenger on your omnibus. Contempt, contempt. You will be found guilty of perjury. You are advised to bear that in mind, sir. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, mio dio. Uh, oh, he's actually Italian. <laughs> Mamma mia. Beppo. Yeah, Beppo. Yeah, he is Beppo. He actually Beppo. is Italian. Beppo. Right. Why is that not the first time I've heard that name, Beppo? Where it's, else? It's, it's, it's a typical, name. like, a clown, clown name, too, like Beppo. Yep. Like, I've heard that somewhere else and like... In the circus, probably. Have we actually or in some the... other context. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, have, have we actually found the the pun in Beppo's name? He's a, mm. an Italian clown. He's just... What is his full name? Uh, I don't actually know. I forgot. It's just Beppo. Just Beppo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Beppo. Right now. And then the judge said... Let's... I already said that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You will you will explain the various misgivings brought to our attention by the defense's summation examination. Please rectify what you said. That'd be neat. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Various misgivings. I think we're gonna have to stop anyways, though, like really soon. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save here. Yeah. This feels like a good uh Good yeah, spot. we just got the like we just got the trial to continue. The, I feel yeah. like that should be next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is the beginning of the second phase. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it was, we're All gonna right. stop here. So I, I I I gotta go to bed soon anyway. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right.